978 Dance. We are live here at Tomorrowland in Belgium. Right now in the studio, we have Jax Jones. Hello, hello. Looking cool. Looking Thank cool you. as always. Made me feel a little bit <laughs> out of style. Anyway. Not you, at all, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing the interviews around. We've seen you going around with Martin and uh, Ed, that looks incredible. The Europa thing is going off. We play all day and night all the time. Thank you Everyone very much. Everyone loves it and requests it, man. It was such a good idea. How did that come about? I mean, the... Me and Martin have been friends for a few years. Really? We met for the first time at, he invited me to play at his Pasha residency um, in Ibiza and naturally became friends over time. And what do musician friends do apart from eat dinner sometimes? Yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah. go to the studio. Yeah, exactly. And we just had a very good chemistry. We have a very similar way of working, same way of appreciating music. Similar so, sense of humor. It looks yeah, like. He's yeah, quite yeah. sarky as well. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> He's really fun guy and so it just became really obvious that whatever we were doing was more than one song. You yeah. know, yeah. otherwise we would have just done Jack Jones and Martin Solberg or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah, so we decided to make a band. It's a, it, the sound of, of Europa is you can hear there's elements of both of you in there, but it yeah. is it's completely new, right? It's yeah, a- the it, it the idea is to celebrate the best of European dance music. Yeah. Uh, bringing in so many influences and I think you can hear that in all day yeah, and night yeah, you sure. know there's trance there's techno in there yeah. if you listen to the instrumental and it it's fits in left, any set. you know what I mean yeah it exactly it from a DJ point of view it kind of yeah it can go with this style it can go with this style so yeah it's it's really you know the perfect start to the project and there's going to be so much more the um well, one of the original songs that we were playing on the station was the houseworks uh-huh um but that has definitely got some kind of uk garage influences in it <laughs> yeah, big time so is that is that your kind of originally was that your Man. background well no my background grime. yeah is i started in grime then i started playing guitar for like bands and then i was in a band for a bit nice. we made an album got dropped all that kind of stuff what was the band name there gone seemed to be a trend <laughs> yeah no you don't want us to go search no it's called domino go it was amazing domino it, we go. were making music like the script kind of right, like okay. that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff cool. and um you know i was listening to bob dylan and johnny cash all this kind of stuff and the yeah and then when we got dropped i was you know didn't know what to do next had no money just yeah. trying to figure it out and i met duke de mont yeah, yeah, uh, yeah who i did the song i got you with and that was when I started getting deeper into electronic music and yeah. housework was my first moment on my own yeah. outside of what I was doing for Duke de Mont. And yeah, I guess it's all the music you've heard so far and that's kind of why the genres jump so much is because yeah. yeah. influences. Yeah, unfortunately, like I can't make the same record over and over again because I just I had just come from so much. So yeah. it just goes into it and then but i just have different tunes people now are listening to playlists you know from on spotify etc so it's you don't necessarily want all the same kind of style you know it's you want it to sound like a house party or a night out all in one playlist i so. mean that's what you're gonna get basically yeah. if you're gonna sum up jacks jones it's yeah. just basically a, a party yeah, no, it it's gonna make you feel it, great it, and yeah. yeah honestly they are like the tracks they're like the go-to tracks in the kind of the club sets that we do in oh, the i appreciate yeah. that thank you so time. much now europa's like added to it, as well. <laughs> it yeah and i'm a fan of snacks by the way yeah, and that represents as well what you're saying and and the adv- and imagine as well going yeah i like making a mix and then all these artists that are on there it's like what yeah you, know, you, you must have felt blessed to get all of them involved really blessed i mean it's always hard as a dance artist to secure a vocalist yeah in general yeah. keeping it different trying not to wear someone the same one once exactly you click. yeah because we don't sing so and my thing is vocals like i yeah. love writing songs it all starts with the songs a lot of people start from the music for me it's about the song told you um <laughs> <laughs> we have this debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all about the song for me and i and then you know my job after that after we write the song is to make the music as good as the song uh or as memorable so like yeah it's difficult and i feel very lucky that what's really good is every song informs the next song mm. so a lot of the people i've worked with bb rex are demi yeah. and Ain't then enough. even on the album which is out september 6th by yeah, the way yeah. snacks um you know tovlo who's on the album she was a fan of housework you know it's, yeah. it's her favorite song to this day really she still posts stories all the time of her dancing to it nice so it's yeah so the records inform the features and they're not features it's like a really bad word they're more like just we collaborate and yeah. write a song together and it's a really true representation of two people or three whatever it is yeah, like yeah. years and years we just come together we make a record like 
So you're, you're, you said the songwriting process comes first. When you're <laughs> We're not going to have an argument live yeah, on air and use Jack. When you're actually <laughs> writing a song, is it lyrics first or melodies? Uh, we do melodies first. You put the kind of gibberish melodies. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's very traditional. Yeah. I don't make beats before the session. I like. We just have some sort of musical reference point, so like some chords or right. some riff that I've come up with, and then we just write. And I, I try not to make beats for stuff because it becomes really restrictive. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then it's all about the melody. That's right. what people yeah. are going to remember. That's what it is. And then yeah the task is to make lyrics that are as memorable yeah, yeah. as the melody and when you get the perfect balance i try to do it all the time you know yeah. like it's i don't know i love lyrics man it's like yeah, me too yeah. I'm yeah. Big into it. We, we wanted to but we we love bass music we're uk garage boys yeah. we make bass music we sit down go well, let, let's make a heavy song it ends up like a love song so it's like right that's it that's, that's where you're at embrace mate yeah. i've tried like housework was basically me trying to be well hard yeah like, i was like <laughs> right i'm gonna make a really tough song and it worked yeah. for like but when i play compared to the stuff that i also play in my set i'm like wow this is like the lightest record in the yeah. set yeah. basically <laughs> yeah. like and i get it's just i guess as you say your you just your evolve your own go personality comes out yeah. you only can do what you're gonna do yeah. innit? you got your dj head and your producer head yeah head exactly drift off in different directions and that kind of vibe and that personality comes out in the snacks parties which i've never been to but i've been looking at them oh, and everyone's been tech and i've seen them pop up they look off the charts our live show and the snacks concept you know it's something that's going to grow and grow and we've been perfecting the live show in particular for a few years and this year i would say we finally like if it was we're like level 100 live show now like Cracked we're it. there yeah nice. like and really proud of it i can't wait to take it around the world it's yeah. it's just such a unique show for an electronic artist to put on where typically electronic artists when they go live the focus is on being very technical yep. or or a lot of spectacle and not technical yeah we're kind of down the middle and it's a mi and it's about an ex experience more than just lights and visuals it, you know well it sometimes we have a full-on carnival well, on stage yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly. we have a uh, guest vocalist coming on but i try to remain true to the to the people that sung it i don't really have any session singers or nothing like nice, it's nice. a lot of hard work but it's uh, yeah, it always yeah. amazing anywhere you go so i can't wait to bring it out to dubai yeah man we'd love to see that out in dubai look it's 978 dance it's Jax jones hey. it's been an absolute pleasure europa good luck with that snacks we can't wait to hear it man pleasure cheers nice guys so thank you very much yeah,